we get older and we leave full-time work behind us, many of us will start to look at more hobbies, pastimes and physical fitness. Maybe now is the time to dust down the bicycle and get out and about and see more of our beautiful country. You'll be surprised how much more there is to see just on your own doorstep. And one of the latest innovations to arrive on the cycling scene are electric bikes, known as e-bikes. As you get older, an e-bike might be just the ticket for helping you cycling up those pesky hills and for travelling that bit further in the saddle. There are many options when it comes to choosing an e-bike, but just what is an e-bike? The person that knows the answer is here. I've come to the country's fastest growing network of family-owned cycle stores called Evo, where evolution meets revolution, and Joel Schaefer is that Evo cycling expert. So an e-bike is like a normal bike in every way, except it has the added assistance of a motor, giving you a little bit of extra push when you need it. So there's an e-bike out there for everyone. For us, we always try and, you know, just we give people a wide range of options. We want to find out where you want to ride, what kind of riding you want to do, and then we go and we look at what's the best bike we can get for you for the purpose you're wanting it for. So you have a pedal assist e-bike, so you have to pedal for the modes to engage. You can get throttle e-bikes as well, where you then don't have to pedal, you can just have the motor running, but for us at Evo, it's all about getting out and actually exercising. So this would be our entry level e-bike. What's going to make it entry level is that it has the motor in the rear wheel. They work well, it's just they aren't able to deliver as much power and actually usable power as some of the other more expensive models. These are great just for riding around town, however on some steeper climbs you're going to find you're going to struggle a little bit with them. So this is a giant Le Free. This is one of our most popular cruiser models. What's great about this bike is you're starting to get the nice central motor, which means it has it's not more powerful as far as wattage, but it's able to deliver its power a lot smoother and a lot more natural. What's great with this bike is it's got quite a low step-through frame design, so it's quite easy to get on and off. You've then got your battery mounted underneath the rack here, and then you're getting a lot of accessories thrown in with this one as well. So this one you're getting mud guards, a standard, you're getting a stand. The Giants use Yamaha's motor system. So it's a very clean motor design, works very well, one of our most popular models. So this giant Fathom is our entry-level hardtail e-bike. Being a hardtail, there's no suspension in the back. You've got your nice Yamaha central motor. You then have a 400 watt hour battery, but it's a bit more integrated into the frame, so it looks a bit cleaner. And then you have a front fork on the front, just to soak up some more of the bumps. You're getting your hydraulic disc brakes, and again, you've got your giant ride control on the left here with then a nine speed gearing so you've got enough gearing on this to ride most most of the terrain you're going to be riding on this bike this one is a class one e-bike so it's capped at 32 kilometers an hour you can obviously go over that but the motor will stop assisting you at 32. so this is a giant fast road e plus what's great with this is it's a little bit more focused at your commuters so a little bit more Focused on speed, this is one of the few bikes we do here that is a class 3 e-bike. So this motor cuts out at 45 k's an hour, so it gives you a little bit more speed. And you are also getting a couple more features which are just nice if you're doing some longer commutes into the city. You're getting a rack as standard, so you can fit some panniers to carry your, your gear. The motor and the battery are a little bit more integrated, which makes it look quite nice. And then you're getting mud guards and all that in the stand standard, as well as a slightly different display unit for giant Yamaha system, which shows you a bit more information on the range and all of that that you have, as well as integrated lights. So this is a giant Rain E Plus 2. So this is now a full suspension mountain bike. You can see we have the shock in the back as well. This is a bike that's designed to be doing some pretty serious off-road riding. However, what we found is a lot of people actually like to ride these around the streets as well. This is a little bit more premium, so now we're getting a lot of features standard, which does push the price up. But you'll find this one has a slightly bigger battery in the frame. So you go from a 400, which is the general normal on the, the commuter and hardtail mount, e mountain bikes, up to a 500 watt hour. So it's going to give you a little bit more range. You also get standard on this model a dropper post so it is designed for riding off-road where you'd be able to get your weight further back behind the bike for stability however it is a nice feature just climbing on and off the bike you're able to get the seat out of the way and then put it back up to your riding height once you're going well here we are yes this is my electric bike 
Thanks very much to Joel and everybody at Evo Cycles for helping us out with this story. Now then, which one did I go for? Yes, I went for the commuter bike. This is the one that you'll remember that goes at 45k if you pedal fast enough. Now the main thing to remember, as Joel was saying, is that these are pedal assist bikes, which means that you can go further with the same amount of effort that you'll put into your normal cycling. With this one, I've done over 400 k's on this bike. It's exhilarating. This is a good bike. It's, um, it's got thick tires, so it means that I can sort of go a little bit off-road, not too much, but it does have all the accessories, which is, which is what I like. It, it's got the lights built in, it's got the mud guards. I have added a few other bits and pieces. When I got it, the handlebars were a little bit too low, so I got Evo to um, fix a extension to the actual handlebars, which brought them up to a comfortable height. Now that's an extra $50, so that's worth remembering. Um, just make sure that you get the right height that's comfortable. The other thing, um, the major thing, was the saddle. Now the saddle that comes with the bike is a sports saddle, which is uh, like this. I'll just show you. And it is uh, very, very narrow, and it can be a little bit uncomfortable when you go riding on it. So what I actually did, I actually went and bought a, um, a slow fit saddle, which is meant to mold to your bottom. Still a bit too small for me. So what I ended up getting was, I popped along to Kmart, and at Kmart you can get saddles um, very cheaply, and this one is a $15 saddle. It took me about five minutes to put on the bike, and it's absolutely uh, terrific. Another thing that I've had done is I've bought some panniers for the bike and these were um, $90 each, so $180 for a set of panniers, so it's worth remembering that. They are not waterproof, they're water kind of splash resistant. If you want waterproof ones then that will cost you twice as much, so they'll be about $180 each. Um, the other thing that I've had put on is uh, some extra lighting, so I do go out cycling at night and I've had an extra light put on there because some of the pathways around here are a little bit dark, the cycling pathways, and I've had a flashing red light put on the back. Um, the lights that come on the bike are on the whole time, they don't flash, but they are very good, I hasten to add. The other thing that I've got on here is this red device here, and you may be wondering what that is for. Let me show you. So there you are, Lucia loves being towed behind Papa's bike for some reason. Can't think why. Maybe it's laziness. And so, if you see us, give us a wave and uh, good luck with your cycling. Pick the right bike for yourself and it'll be great fun, I can assure you. If you'd like more information about e-bikes, then jump on our programme website at www.justthejob.co.nz and follow the links to Just The Job Gold.